Hello everybody, today I'm excited to talk about my little buffer pedal. I'll show you guys a little closer. It's a mini little pedal that uh, the buffer section is taken out of the buffer fuzz interface. It's the same buffer circuit and I, I'm excited to introduce it in a tiny little package. And a buffer is a very important part of your guitar signal chain. Uh, when we plug directly into a guitar amplifier, there's a circuit that takes your signal to the preamp tubes and anything you put in front of your tube amplifier will modify your guitar signal in one way or another. It could be very subtle, it could be a little bit more noticeable. So when designing the buffer, um, I painstakingly took time to um, set up my tube amps, go into my custom in-ear monitors, uh, eliminate the speaker and listen to the preamp and uh, introducing the buffer in front of the amplifier and turning the buffer on and off and I did this and uh, I got the components just right in this mini buffer pedal to where uh, the sound did not change and the touch and the harmonics and uh, especially on single coil guitars you can really hear the high-end harmonics where other buffers would introduce kind of a mid-range thing and it would kind of cloudy up the sound and I'm really proud to say that this buffer disappears in front of your tube amp and so every guitar pedal board it is important to have a buffer in the beginning of the chain and if you have like old fuzz pedals or anything that don't like buffers, I offer the buffer fuzz interface where it has a loop where it bypasses the buffer and sends your guitar straight to the pedals in the loop here. But uh, I recommend using a high quality buffer like the little mini buffer. The first thing in your signal chain, this will take your high uh, impedance signal and turn it into a low impedance signal. So it's gonna act like a little mini um, unity gain preamplifier that is not gonna change your guitar tone. It's just gonna have the sweetest tube-like response uh, because I've tested it with a tube amp. I've taken it in and out of the signal and I spent a lot of time doing that and getting it dialed into where doing blind tests for myself and inner monitors, critically listening playing uh, various uh, pickup positions to where I couldn't tell where the buffer was on or off. And in some cases I preferred the sound with the buffer because it just had the sweetest harmonics. And so uh, when you put this before any of your other pedals that even maybe have buffers in them, you're going to preserve your guitar harmonics just like the tube amplifier that you're plugging into. So I'm very proud to introduce this buffer and I'll actually try to demonstrate um, how this uh, buffer affects your guitar signal. So I have um, a 15 foot cable running into a little true bypass looper. We have the buffer pedal here in the loop and I'm gonna turn on the loop on and off. And we also have a 15 foot cable running after the true bypass looper. So when the buffer is out of the circuit, we have about a 30 foot cable running to my Vox AC30. So a 30 foot cable, what it's gonna do is it's gonna um, give the pickups a harder time to drive the signal. So you're gonna lose some high end and I'm gonna um, hopefully demonstrate. So when you have about a 15 foot cable running into this buffer and then after the buffer, you can have a really long cable and it's not gonna affect your tone. So if you're running, um, a lot of uh, pedals and then after your pedal board you have long cables to your amp. Um, this little buffer in front of your uh, pedal board is going to preserve the sound of your pickups and then uh, after that you're safe to drive any other pedals or long cables to your amp. And also this little buffer pedal has the same uh, cable emulating circuit as in the buffer fuzz interface. So we can even add 10 or 20 foot of cable to uh, the input of the buffer. You can use this in like a standalone fuzz loop or something like that where you can put this buffer after the fuzz and you can go to the 20 foot. So you're gonna kind of um, load down the fuzz pedal just like in the buffer fuzz interface, but this is in a standalone pedal and you can um, 
add that cable length and that will change the tone of the fuzz. So let's go, um, I'll play some uh, sounds without the buffer and then I'll engage the buffer and then we'll go back and forth and hear how the mid and top end changes when I engage the buffer and when I disengage it. So uh, let's do that. You can also use this little buffer to go directly into your sound card interface. I'm using the Apogee Element 88 going directly in and I'll toggle the buffer on and off and hear how that affects the sound. Thank you. 